Hi friends, me. Hi friends, myself, Parmal Mahmud. Welcome you all in a PHP MySQL tutorials, MySQL I tutorials. In a previous video, I have taught you uh, required changes for our data connection and executing query in a MySQL I in a POP as well as a OOP method. In today's video, I will try to explain the another library function which is mysql underscore norm underscore rules which was used to count a number of records in a resource variable generally a result variable named a result variable so first of all i will again repeat or revised the all method that of the mysql for that i will be assuming count variable and noting down mysql underscore num underscore rows a library function in that we will have to pass a resource type variable that is a result and we will be displaying the same count function sorry count variable saving the program and Executing the program into the browser. MySQL now. You can see here we have found 12 records. Uh, from where I have got 12 records? Uh, from the table select star from contact, which was uh, previously cre created by me in a PHP MySQL tutorial. Uh, just for a revised, I will just showing you the table. Here you can see ID 1 to ID 12. So I have got 12 records message here. Now shifting to the POP method of a MySQL I in that as previously already told we have to just change a function name at MySQL to MySQL I. So full function will be MySQL I underscore num underscore rows. Again assuming account variable and writing down mysql i underscore num underscore rows and our resource variable that one is the result that's it and just confirming displaying the same variable with a proper message records saving the program and refreshing MySQL I underscore query program. Here you can see a MySQL I POP code and a message we have is a 12 record. And shifting to the last method, that one is the POP method, sorry, OOP method of MySQL I. In that, uh, you should not that the, again I am repeating the same topic. In the previous two video, MySQL underscore num underscore rules. In MySQL I underscore num underscore rows by the library function, but in the OOP we have to not use any library function, but we will be using our uh, resource variable as an object. And num underscore row will be a property or just a variable in a normal language, POP language, and in our OOP language it will be just a property or a member variable. So writing down that function or method count assuming variable and our resource variable as I have already told you will be the object and that object will be calling or uh, using num underscore rows properties no parenthesis bracket has to be written here as it is in property not in method in method we will have to do parenthesis packet and pass argument if we any required so our task has been done displaying the count variable with the help of echo and refreshing over the last task sorry I have done a full stop in place of a semicolon refreshing and executing our last file that is an num underscore rows 
so here we got in our proper message 12 records so this was about num underscore rows counting the number of rows from, from the resource variable you should also knowing that a resource variable contains a records which satisfy the condition of a query which have uh, executed with the help of query function or a method uh, right now I have not put any where close if any where close has been put then satisfied records will only be available in a resource variable result variable and num underscore row will only count available or stored variable or stored records in a result or a resource variable in this video the, uh, we will be not discussing any other functions in next videos i will guide you about fetching the records that are uh, fetch underscore row fetch underscore aso fetch underscore array fetch underscore row if you like the video please like and subscribe the channel if any other friends are also in the same field that is php then share video with them and thank you for watching the whole video yeah.